Welcome everybody. Good to see you. Paul here. Want to give you a warm welcome. This is episode two of Design to the Rescue, where I basically have the awesome opportunity to uh, create a logo or branding or graphics uh, for someone who's uh, who's who needs the stuff. So this is all about giving back to you guys uh, is the plan. So uh, hello there. Jan, Misha, Richard, Voodoo Val, Steve's in the house. Mike, good to see you all. Um, don't forget to wear your design life vest. What would that look like? I wonder. All right, into it. So we'll go ahead and uh, switch over. Just so you know, um, like I mentioned, basically, if you um, want to go ahead and submit through this Google form, your side hustle, your business, your whatever, whatever logo you want to make, whatever that might be, feel free to use that. Um, bit.ly p-t-r-a-n-i dot m-e forward slash submit it's that easy so i've got a number of entries uh but we could always use more and yeah i'm just here to help this is what it looks like and this is the person we're picking today it is uh oh, i will better not give away their email sorry about that but uh romana is uh actually works for maplewood barn community theater so that's the logo i'm going to make for them it's an outdoor community 30 turns 50 next year. And I just love this. So it's like spo uh, supporting uh, local, the local theater is what we're doing. Uh, updating the brand content for the new season, update the website, love to help with logo and branding content. Particularly with the 50th update, we can still uh, use it after the 50th. So celebrating 50 years, if you will. Logo, brand design, brand refresh. Let's take a look at that. And by the way, use that uh, URL if you could. Oh, that URL works as well. Thank you, Voodoo Val. I guess I had to. Fantastic. Uh, you can see right in here, this is Maplewood Barn Theater. I've already kind of taken this logo. So uh, we can kind of start here and we'll add 50 years to it. Maybe we'll update this logo as well and just try some different things. So this is going to be fun. Happy Monday to you guys as well. Um, yeah, so let's get this party started. Um, you know, I, I've already kind of started brainstorming in Adobe Express, by the way. So what I did is I went and just created a logo is what all, all I did is I said, hey, I want to make a logo. And then this is the template that it gave me, which I thought was kind of cool. It's like a ticket. So that works. And then I started adding additional graphics and design assets. I went into shapes. I typed in barn to see what I would get there. Uh, we can try maple leaf which is also what I was using. Grabbed that one, I think, which I think is neat. This one's kind of cool. So again, I'm just kind of using these as a brainstorming sort of uh, storyboard, if you will, right? Ryan, what's up, man? Good to see you. So what's up, Richard's in the house. So good to see you guys. Uh, let's try some other things. Let's do um, a badge. What will we get if we do like a badge or a burst? I'm gonna already make one of these but we're just grabbing some assets. That's all I'm doing. Let's just grab some stuff. There it is. Maybe we will use or create a banner. And again, this is just stuff that I don't have to make that uh, you know I probably will need like this. Perfect. Let's take that. Let's take this one. Loading it up. And this is kind of, uh, you know, I could do a lot of my designing in here, but really I'm going to bring this content into Illustrator because it's going to give me a little bit more flexibility. Uh, so yeah. Hello, Peter's in the house. Ooh, I like this kind of banner, this banner. Oh, there's so many different ways you can go. So this is stuff I just didn't even think about. I thought of just the strip, but these actually also work. So let's just drop those in there like so. Right, we have a number of assets that I'm kind of starting with. Just to brainstorm. <laughs> Thespians faces. Okay, let's see what we get if we type in thespian. Let's see if I can spell it right. Oh, yeah. Sorry for my loud drink. I got a delicious dirty chai iced coffee and I'm just hooked. They're taking my money. 
the local coffee shop is just taking me, taking all my, taking all my money. So theater, let's just try some things. Yeah, boom, there they are as well. So they come up in two different places, uh, which is nice. So anyways, just grabbing assets. All right, and the major default color is green. I'm gonna change that later, so we're all good there. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just take this. I could do some of my designing in here, but I feel like this is a little bit of a hack, but this is brainstorming. But I'm gonna go ahead and download this as a PDF file, okay? So we will download that as a PDF. We can open up that PDF in Illustrator and we'll have um, all of those uh, assets and all that fun stuff. Let's take a look. There it is. Zip. And uh, let's open that up in Illustrator. I miss Italy. Italy's still there. It didn't go anywhere, Peter. Are you just bragging that you went to Italy? Is that what you're saying? Uh, also want to say hello if you're joining me elsewhere on um, LinkedIn or any other social media profiles. I'm mainly watching the chat on Behance.net forward slash Adobe Live, just so you know. Um, so here we are. Look, this is here's all of our assets, everything that you just saw a second ago. So I could take these. In fact, what I will do is I'll do a select same fill color, right? And uh, we will just change that to like red, right? A little bit more around the sort of color we're going for. And we'll copy a lot of these assets and we'll go right in here. So this is the file I was working on already. All of our notes that were given to me through the form, just so I could keep everything in mind, the URLs, love the color teal and minimal design. So that's cool, all right? So I have the notes, I have all my assets right in here. Got a huge maple leaf there. Let's get to work, shall we? Move that over like so. Okay, so um, all right. Local coffee shops appreciate my money. That they do. Okay, so remember, this is the original. It's very, very literal. It's like maple wood. It's a maple leaf and a barn. <laughs> like just the two things that are in the title. Which, hey, I'm all for simplicity and directness. Go for it, right? They still are, you know, kind of odd shapes. Like, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm... A huge fan of it. Um, let's just do this for fun, okay? So I'm gonna take this barn shape, right? Um, and I am going to do something fun with it. Why not? Let's go right over here. Let's actually cut this and put this on a new layer because what is also like a maple leaf actually duplicates, like there's, it has a pattern to it. So can we make this barn shape uh, look, uh, look, oh, put a goat on the roof. That would be awesome make it look like a maple leaf because again with the repeating element so we'll go into repeat we'll do radial right and here's here's our lovely barn shape so this is maybe the start of turning this barn into a maple leaf but we, we don't want it to go all the way around so we'll just drag this over drag this over bingo now we just have these ones and we can tighten it up some more so so is this cool does this work for you is it is it a good idea is it a bad idea does it even read as a leaf you know, hey, we're tr we're trying out stuff. I don't know the answer is what I'm saying. Uh, that's that's why we're here. But I think it's generally a, not a bad idea, right? And just making this a leaf. We'll try it. There we go. Take that. Ooh, it's still, you have this barn door. It's almost like a stage that appears right there, but it's not reading as a leaf because we don't have the bottom uh, part of that leaf. So I can always add that in here. So let's do that. Uh, with the pen tool. A lot of straight lines. Well, anyways, let's just do this. Let's just draw. Let's get down to work, people. We got a job to do.
just making the little stem of the leaf. We'll go straight line there and connect it. I don't know, it's just a thought. It's a little long. Yeah, Alex, the step and repeat is amazing, by the way. I'm glad you're into it. I'm all about it. So hello, everyone. Hello. Cool. All right. Let's maybe shrink this up a little bit. It's a little much. Do we go with something like that? This is okay. This still needs like a lot of work, but we are just brainstorming. And I'm glad you guys are here for Design to the Rescue. I wish it was as easy as just calling somebody up, but there's our barn shape. I could always take this barn, and uh, even though, of course, it's tied back to the repeat object, I could actually give it less. It might need even less, less barn shapes. So do we take that down to, like, three? That looks better. Does that look better? All right, is it something kind of like that? And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it resemble a uh, maple leaf, as you can see right over here. That's kind of the idea. Okay, so we're getting a, a better vision for what I'm trying to do. Um, let's adjust this some more. Let's give it more space and more pieces and space it out some more. And uh, once we have it in a place we like it, we could always expand it. So I'm gonna expand all those objects, you know, ungroup them, right? Since I know what I need to do, let's just basically take those three. So kind of just use that as a starting point. All right. Let me check. Kind of looks like a spaceship. Let's take this, let's flip it, reflect, and bring this in like so. So anyways, this is just like one design, um, and I'm trying to determine if it's going to work. And it might not, like, so that's why I don't want to spend too much time on this one. I don't want to spend too much time on it. But it kind of looks like a barn there, huh? I don't know. Let's do some more things with this barn, by the way. Let's go back. Let's take our original shape which I could always edit. So I could always make this look like a barn, adding more to it, maybe giving it barn doors, but let's just copy it. Let's go paste it right here. From here, we'll go to 3D, because I'm gonna go ahead and extrude this to make it look like a barn is the idea. Yeah, no tail. I'll add the tail. It needs a little bit of a tail. So there we go. Here's our barn. Let's extrude that some more and uh, rotate it around a little bit. Looks like a, um, kind of looks like a, uh, I'm getting Monopoly vibes from this. Uh, we want to change the perspective, see how it's going to go back into space, like so. We'll just adjust the lighting, but there you can see kind of what's, what's going on. Um, so let's do this. So that, that works out pretty well. We were able to knock this out pretty quick. Um, let's go back in. Let's paste another one in. And this time I am just going to make like a top part. The top part. Wait for it. Wait for it. Sure, we'll just make it black for now. Take away this piece, take away this piece, take away this piece. There we go, we have those lines. Crank them up. Ooh, not quite like that. I need to make sure they're all selected. And we need to make sure we get some good colors in there. So, certainly need a good brown. Deeper, there we go, like that wood. 
and bear with me. This is just designing sort of 101. Let's crank this up. Maybe I want to rotate those on the ends. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm basically making the roof, right? So that's all I've done. Boom, boom, right? Uh, let's extend it out a little bit. Take this, extend it a little. This one, extend it a little. And this one. Cool. Let's group it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to extrude it again. Again, I'm working in Illustrator. I'm going to bring this into Adobe Express in a bit. A good brown. So there's my top. So I was missing the top before I extruded it earlier, but this is more along the lines of what I want. Zip, move it around. Zip, zip. Get it. Rotate it. Rotate it, Paul. Rotate it. Fix it for me. Maybe like that. And let's crank up that, crank up the perspective. Boom, boom, we just made a barn, okay? And just for fun. But there we have what is similar to uh, their Maplewood Barn Theater, this little logo, right? And we get the actual look of the barn right there. You can see the stage like so. So anyways, this is kind of neat that we could do that, by the way. with our fun, it's no longer a Monopoly piece. We actually have something that's more true to being a barn. And we could always edit this. We could slap doors on it. We could do all, we could do a thousand things. Um, speaking of a thousand things, like do we try something uh, a little bit different? So I'm gonna take this little maple leaf. I'm gonna make it white. As long as this is in front, let's, bam. And I'm gonna drop it in as a symbol right down here. So leaf, there we go. It's in there as a symbol. Now we'll go to our 3D object, to our, maybe I wanna do some other things. Go to our materials and we'll go to graphics. So now all of those graphics, including that leaf, are right here. So I could take that, boom, click on it, slaps it on this object, and we could do something like that, right? Again, just a thought. I'm just playing around. Maple leaf-shaped barn doors. Kind of like that. That's right. So that's okay. I just love that this is 3D. Because now I can I can kind of sort of play with a perspective. Maybe I have it straight on, and I'm kind of more into that. Um, and if you want to get really specific, just go to custom rotation, do front. There it is. It's kind of like back to the way it was, back to normal. Mm. So anyway, there that is. Um, I'm still on this. This idea did not work. This works better. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of thinking to myself right now. Let's go back. So we're experimenting with the logo to see if we can come up with something, um, you know, kind of like this, but updated is the thing. Um, anyways, um, let's take this logo now and we are just going to add, you know, the 50 years to it. So before we go and tackle their logo, let's kind of take a step back and go to the original request, which was to, um, you know, branding content, uh, update it with the, the 50 years. So that's why I was like updating logo. But let's go ahead and do that real fast. Um, assets. And I got assets here and here. Let's take this and this, and this. Let's move this down. There we go, paste. Let's take this, let's uh, trace it. Hey, why not? Let's give it uh, some colors, some shapes. This is interesting. So I'm playing with image trace. 
and let's try high fidelity photo. Okay, so that's what we get. All right, I was trying to just vectorize it. Um, yeah, there's other ways we could do that. Let's expand that. All I really wanna do is grab this color. Um, we will use this color right here and we'll use this brown for the roof. That'll be our sides, okay? So not crazy about the logo, but let's group this. Let's do um, I'm just thinking about this. Check this out. You ready? Let's go into my brushes panel. Oh, what do I have in here? So this is the one I got off Adobe Express, which is awesome. Um, look at all these lovely ones. I have all these brushes. So let's just go ahead and draw out a line. There it is. Look, bam, bam, ba 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 ba. Like all these different brushes I made, which are basically banners, which just makes it easy for me. Um, say if I want to use this one, I can just take that, uh, bend it, like so. And uh, so we could have one banner. And this is why I love brushes. You just like have a lot of control. We can make it thicker or thinner. This is just so easy to work with. Um, but nonetheless, let's take a look at this. I'm gonna double click on it. Yep, that's the color. Let's go in. Let's change the color of the stroke to red. Oh, ba. Bring it back. Man, it's not quite doing it. Double clicking in here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna change this to hue shift and it's gonna shift this color to whatever color I pick there we go, it changes it to red. So isn't this nice, just having this like level of control? Take this down here, maybe maybe we flip it. No, we don't wanna flip it, do we? Maybe we do. Maybe we want this to be straight. Okay. How is everybody doing? Those brushes are great. Aren't they so much fun? Like, look at this, like, ah, you know, you make this once, you only have to make it once and then just save it as a, a template. Save as template if you want, um, or you could do something more advanced, which is what I will show at my in my Adobe Max session. All right. Um, Anyway, let's go in here. We are gonna go with a sans serif because we're gonna, or excuse me, a serif or even a slab serif, right? We'll go into serif and this is more along the lines of what we want. In fact, let's go all caps. All caps, bam, there it is. Shrink it down. You guys get what I'm doing, right? Putting that right on there, celebrating. Um, let's bend it. So yeah, arcing it like so. There we are. And uh, that looks pretty good. Right up here, by the way, if you select this, what I did is I did a little uh, distort. Okay, went in, it's the equivalent of going right in here, envelope distort, uh, make with warp is what I did. And uh, no, now I still have all the settings up here, but I need to actually change the contents. Oops. So I just hit this little button. I didn't notice this for the longest time, but that's where I can just edit uh, that particular font. We can see it right up here because we don't want this acumen variable concept. No, we want to go with something more fun as I start to pick some of these. And let's center it. So that's all I'm doing. Okay. Uh, I have an unhealthy preference for <laughs> all caps. Becca, no. 
an unhealthy preference for all caps. I do as well. Um, even handwritten ones in all caps. Please don't say that. There's like, there's a parking sign I, I drive by on occasion and I, and it just, it's, it's script all caps. And I think it's brush script all caps and it drives me nuts, but you know, designer problems celebrating years. Oh, let's actually take this, copy it. It's getting all stretched out, so I'm just gonna drop it in here and uh, do my adjustments like that. We're just gonna add a little bit of a bend and remember our line, bring that in. Maybe I will hold down the option key. There we go. Zip, zip. Celebrating years. Are we just celebrating years? Yes, all caps do. They just yell. That's exactly right. Plus, all caps are harder to read. You get used to reading the ascenders and descenders and letters. And, uh, you know, it just gets to be harder when it's all caps. So 50. I'm, like, really into this. This 50 is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, there we have that. Since it's so big, does it need to be black? I don't know. Does it just have a stroke? Do we do something like that? Um, yeah, these are all questions. Maybe it's a little thick, this line. But there we go. So that's just a little easier on your eyes. We'll take this. We will group it. And then we'll rotate it. Like, oh, shoot. I guess I can't do that. Oh, how interesting is that? I didn't know that. I grew. I just grouped this. That seems weird because uh, it's editable. That's why it's doing that. So nonetheless, let's just do this. Let's go in here. Let's select this. And uh, let's... There we go. Group those, there we are. Because all I wanted to do here is like rotate it like that. How are we doing everybody? Oh, Molly Shannon. Uh, 50 with color of the maple wheat leaf. Um, by the way, is Romana here? Um, I just wanted to check. Feel free to say hello in chat. would love to hear from you. Okay, so yeah, is this the same color? That's a great idea, by the way. Love it. Make it the color of this maple leaf. We could do something like that. Let's bring back the black stroke, though. At least worth... Worth it to try. So yeah, okay, so here's the problem with this so far. Actually, the stroke does not quite work, does it? Does it? There needs to be more contrast in here. So much needs to happen, right? I would actually take this. Remember, this is our grouped object with this banner. We will just go ahead and expand appearance so we can edit some of this. In fact, let's do this. You ready for this? I need all these colors that are part of this uh, logo. All these colors right here. So I could select all that content, um, go over to my swatches panel, and then just click. I'll move down, by the way. Just click this folder. Bam. There it is. Add everything. Boom. There they all are. Include different tints, too. So let's do that one more time because you get this selected swatches for selected artwork, right? 
Um, anyway, so it may, it just dropped all those colors. I had no idea there were that many colors in there, by the way. Uh, either way, we got plenty to play with. And uh, we can move on. We stole our colors. We can go over here. We can jump in here. Do our dance. Give it that brown tint. There it is. Object, object, scroll down. Bam, there we are. So again, just going for something darker. <sighs> Maybe that doesn't work. It does not work. There we go. That's good. Better. Let's take this. Okay. RB, what's up? Good to have you here. This is pretty standard stuff, I feel like, what I'm doing. It's pretty, pretty standard. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's have some fun with... this content. Because we could always do some fun in and out things. That's what I want to do right now. So, um, ungroup, ungroup. Let's really get into this. Let's take this, let's cut it. We're just going to go all on this layer. We're going to turn off everything else, right? We're just going to focus on this content. And uh, maybe this text. Yeah, let's just create some outlines for it. Why not? I'm such a rebel. Uh, Annika, how are you doing? Did I just see your name? Uh, what's God flavor today? It is a, um, basically a, uh, chai, a dirty chai iced coffee. So that's, that's how I roll. Okay. We'll take these two pads, bring them down underneath that right now. We kind of have it behind. So we kind of like that move. We can see what these ones are. You can send them to the back, by the way. Bingo, command, uh, open bracket. And let's ungroup this and move. Oh, geez, what just happened? Let's just move this over, boop. Maybe move this in a little bit too. There we go. So we just kind of want this like in and out effect, which looks nice. Uh, if I have time, I'd do like a little bit of a shadow, right? That would make it look fun. Um, let's have this, maybe it goes inside. So let's take this one as well, which is right here. And let's move that underneath too. Bing. So we just have that kind of like, just, just playing with the lettering. I don't know. Does it work? Does it not work? You guys tell me, let me know what you think. You know, does it go like that? Ooh, I'd like it if these two were behind everything. Oh yeah, let's take that group. Let's move that down. Bingo. So we have that little overlap, which is cool, right? Just having some fun today. All right. Now, the top. That's what we're going to bring in. We can bring in a the um, like barn shape as well as the maple leaf. We could see if we're not going to force anything, but we're going to try to bring those in um, where applicable. So here's my barns. This is my favorite one right here. Um, we'll take it, we'll copy it. We'll paste it. And remember, this is 3D. So let's go to our appearance panel. We can see it's 
3D in materials, that's what I used, but it's really just flat, so I don't really need that. Um, I could throw it away if I want to. It's gonna get rid of the maple leaf, that's fine, because I just kind of like going back to this original design. I'm shrinking this down and putting it behind everything. And we'll also give it a door, yes. Let's give it a little door. We need this to read as a barn. It's technically their stage. Something like that. All right, there we go. Celebrating 50 years. I don't know, thoughts? Questions, concerns, irrational fears, what you got? I really, oh, yeah, that did it. Looks, It looks better um, without the stroke, for sure. Um, we could have some fun with still like with casting shadows. I think that would be so much fun for some of this, right? So if we just had, uh, using the pen tool, let's just jump in here and we'll go just a little bit darker and let's just drop this in real fast. Like so. So just these little shadows are just gonna really help us out. If you ever have a straight line, do you guys ever do this? I just do Command C. There might be even shorter shortcuts. Um, that's gonna give me my ability to adjust my anchor point. So it's the anchor point tool. But we'll just kind of tighten that up. That's fine. We'll keep it clean. We'll remember this color by dropping it in here. Bam. Bata. Put in that folder. There we go. Little shadows and such, even down here. Let's do the same thing. And if you're just joining me, uh, this is designed to the rescue where um, somebody is submitted to for me to design them a logo for their 50 years at the, I should probably turn on all these layers, Maplewood Barn Community Theater. So that's what we're talking about, celebrating 50 years. We could still maybe incorporate this text in here. Like what if we make, so we've kind of made our logo, this looks cool. In fact, you know, I'm gonna take this, um, I'm gonna group it. I'm going to go to my assets panel and I'm going to check the time because I've been going for 37 minutes. Uh, hover over a line with the pen until you see the path then press alt and you can curve the line. Perfect. Thank you, RB. Uh, good caught. Good call. Um, I know like for the pencil tool and some other options, that's also an option because let's check this out. Double click. This is what you're talking about. Option key toggles to this. Well, no, no, no. That's not correct. Um, Anyways, so yeah, good call. Alt key, and you can curve the line. I'm, I'm sure I knew that, but I guess I really don't. Ooh, did somebody catch this, by the way? Like, ooh, I need a shadow down here as well. Oh, that was so close. Let's go in here. Bam. All right, let's have the pen tool, option key, hover, hovering over that line. Yep, bingo. Thank you so much, RB. I appreciate it. Shift C, I'm just gonna switch to the, actually, let's just shift to the direct selection tool. Get that like so. Seeing if the option key does anything interesting for me. All right, there we go. All right, 
right, you get the idea. Got that little shadow in there. It's a little, it's a little much. It is a little much, but that's all right. Okay, cool. Logo, done. Let's go to asset export panel. Take this, just drop it in there. And here we'll call this 50 years. There we go. So I'm going to be ready at a moment's notice. I want to export this out. I'll, uh, I don't know what size I made this at. So I'll do like export it out at three times the current size, right? Um, but yeah, that's ready for me. I can export that out to my desktop. Boom. I'm done. But we want to make some more assets as well. Um, we kind of want our version, like I could pitch another logo so we could do a, you know, the Maplewood Barn Community Theater logo or an even more advanced lockup. So let's take this, let's duplicate it, get this text down here. And let's just, let's make some dreams come true today, huh? Let's make some dreams come true. Centering it, aligning the text. And just having some fun. Take all this and align it. Do we do something like this? X. All right. Okay, love the type lockups. Yeah, I'm glad. You know what? Here's just like if you ever get stumped. I would just advise you jump out to like Adobe Express. Here's my brainstorming. Um, I'll just go back and uh, I'll just go into say like logo. So we could take a look at other ideas by going to logo. We could see all of them over here. Look like just like different ideas. Like if this stirs or strikes anything in you like, okay, what do I even search for theater? Let's see what we get. So yeah, pre-made logos for theaters are right in here. A lot of them use the, what, the strip, I guess. Um, I like the ticket usage. I like this, this kind of lockup, you know, just different ideas. But anyways, you could always use this as a, just like a, a place to start. Ooh, I really like this, by the way. I could see this working. So yeah, here's one lockup. I'm okay with it. I think it's all right. Let's duplicate it again. Let's go all caps. Since we're inspired by what we saw out there um, with the curved type. So we could try to curve type right in here. We're using these warp options, right? Watch what happens. Like that could, that could work. Um, but you probably want to put type along a path to be honest with you. Um, so that's probably what I would do is I'd put, I'd put path along a circle. Um, but you know, maybe this will work. Let's take this, ungroup it, get rid of this stuff, all that stuff. Just get rid of it. Cause we just want this little guy. It's kind of making a little logo. Let's go all caps again right here. A lot of times I feel with logos, you need to create a good lockup or sometimes you need a bar. So it has like, if you have too many elements floating around, you might need like a bar, something to anchor it basically. Um, and that's kind of what this text is doing, 
right? Sort of serving as our, our base. And I'm not crazy about this font. Can we all agree it's, it's probably not working? I'm personally a big fan. Actually, let's go back to, let's turn this off. Let's go to Serif by, or Sans Serif because Romana really likes the color teal and minimal design. So let's try that entirely different direction um, with this with this content. content. We might lose some of the, um, you know, this might not read as a bar and that's my only concern if we mess with it too much. Because red just screams barn. But let's add some teal to the red is what we will do. We want to listen to the client. Just like that. There we are. <sighs> okay, let's throw some teal in there. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. All right, that's actually a really good teal. And let's do something else. Let's take this. We will, we're just gonna release this, I think. We hit release, right? So we just wanna play with this for a little bit. We need to play with the text. So we're gonna go to make this more modern. We're gonna go with sans serif, okay? So just sans serif. We'll go through here. Uh, yeah, we could try Acumen Pro. We could make this look even cooler by, um, let's do, wait for it. Let's go to my favorite fonts. What do I got going on here? Oh, look at this font. Gra Graced Regular. I'm like kind of into that. It's just kind of like that. I'm kind of, I kind of like that font. So, uh, variable. Turn that off, turn this off, clear all. Variable. Let's play with this. Let's play with the weights and the width. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do with the teal. I gotta hurry, man. Um, we're going to use the teal as the ground, right? And we'll take this text. We'll make it look modern. But we'll have it nice and thin, and we'll put it in white. On top of it. Kind of like so. This is the process of designing, huh? This is, this is our job, just bending vectors around um, and trying to make something interesting. I think the lighter looks, looks nice. And let's space it out. How's everybody doing? I'm sorry I'm not like looking at chat right now because um, I'm trying to get this done. This is our minimalist new approach to this design. We're gonna sample this text, change the color, shrink it down. And this one, we're gonna make sure that text is like thicker so it's easier to see and a little tighter. And hey, let's go. Should you guys like this font? Tell me. Uh, feels a little elementary school to me. Ooh, Becca, good call. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good to know. We're also missing the maple wood part of this. Um, but we could have some fun with. I like this text. I don't know. I'm, I think I want to play with this text. Let's move that up. Let's take this. Let's make it white. Cut it. Paste it into place.
And let's make it more elegant by spacing out the letters. At least a hundred. But uh, yeah, you guys into this font. I'm just kind of like, I'm into it a little bit. Thoughts, concerns. What thing, what will make things look pretty modern if you start like angling or curving some corners as opposed to others. So we could select these upper two corners like so, like curve them like that. That gives it like a little bit more of a modern look. And we could just find different elements to do this. We could do it with the door as well. Just kind of soften it uh, up a little bit. And uh, that's kind of where we're at with this. You know, is it is it fun and playful? I don't know. That's all right. Okay, Alex likes the font. So I, th I think that's what's winning about this so far. I'm not crazy about this. Hey, I'm gonna do this, you ready for this? I'm gonna take this, uh, make sure it's grouped, okay? We're going to 3 d eyes this. Bam, extrude it. And rotate this kind of in a place like that. So we just wanna show a little bit of the side. So let's increase the depth of this. So here's our barn. And then let's adjust the perspective like that. Let's give it a cool angle like this. This is cool, right? This is, this is more interesting. Can we all agree? Right, that's already more dynamic than what I had a second ago. And I'm not even crazy about the, um, uh, the door now, but isn't this nice, kind of being able to see the side? And uh, let's just play with the shading as well. We can kind of tweak that but I like being able to see, you know. Okay, there we go, we did it, boom. Shrink it down a little bit more. Um, in fact, yeah, I'll move that off to the side and I will just expand appearance and then just shrink it down a little bit like that. I would love to have uh, little like little trees. I don't know, something. I don't know. There it is. Are we okay? Uh, and got covered by the menu for a bit and it was a uh, bar. Okay. <laughs> Maplewood Barn Community Theater. Right. Okay, everyone. Yeah, got it. Let's do some. I, I, I still think this font underneath just like needs help bad right? Just, it needs, it needs help. But either way, I would say that's pretty good. Let's take it. Let's group it. Let's drop it into our 3D asset export. -da! There we are. And now we have our new logo. Boom. Done. Take those two. Export them out as ping files twice the size to my desktop. Boom. There we are. Let's go to my desktop. And let's jump in and make our lovely brand. So again, we use this to brainstorm more than we did last week. Uh, but yeah, we just had a lot of fun with it. From there, uh, we'll go to home. Let's not worry about saving that project. Let's go to brands. Let's add a brand or create a brand. This is for Romana. Um, upload the logo. There it is. Pick your colors. Oh, I love it. You know, I just realized, look, it sampled all those colors. That's perfect. Boom, boom, look at that. Oh, so good. That's such a good color combo, right? Uh, we can pick our font, it goes through, adds those. We'll just stay with something pretty modern. And maple wood barn, boom, create my brand. Uh, no longer a design emergency. The design is stable and ready to live another day. <laughs> until we decide to, that it needs more work. Uh, here's our 50 years, celebrating 50 years. Drop that in there. And uh, yeah, we just kind of had some fun just to kind of compare the two. Um, let's go here, ba -ba, ba -ba. there we are. Sort of the new one and uh, the old one, which kind of didn't even have a type lockup like this or anything. Um, but yeah, there it is. We'll go ahead and once we're in here, we can add more colors. We need to get the teal in there, right? So we'd add the teal uh, and be well on our way. 
make sure you hit save. There you go. You get the idea. I will uh, have Romana work, uh, and Romana can jump in and create an Instagram story, and that stuff's going to be uh, right in here. So we could pick, pick a template. We can go to uh, logos, sure enough. Uh, we'll, we'll see our logo in there, but you guys get the idea. Hope you guys had fun. Uh, I'm going to actually go back. I'm going to go back into brands because for this one, Maplewood Barn, I need to make it my default. So there it is. It's now my default. Now, anytime I make a project, a Facebook post, whatever the case may be, it'll default to that. So there that is. And uh, yeah, the logos will will be in here. Let's go ahead and let's apply this brand. Oh, there it is, boom. So this is what I was showing you. Here's that little logo that will place into place and you get the idea, so. This is great because you have this little template so you could advertise like, you know, taming of the shrew. Oh, get there, Paul. Hurry. There's no time. S-H-R-E-W. You get the idea. That's just the start of it. Happy Monday, everyone. Voodoo Valley, you're too kind. But I had a blast because I love, uh, you know, it's nothing like, a, you know, a challenge to, to see what you where you end up with, wh with, to see with what you end up with. Uh, I can't talk. But we were able to design today, and I think we did some cool stuff. And I'm glad you guys joined me today. Super fun what we can do. Not only, obviously, in Illustrator, but like bringing that stuff into um, good old Adobe Express. So thank you so much. Don't forget to submit. Uh, if you want me to make you a logo for you, thank you so much, everybody.